After the conclusion of this series and the devastating fire, Kyo Chika went on in a career that was quite varied as a political cartoonist. He attempted other modes of modernizing what were traditional and widely viewed conservative prints. His heyday, of course, it was at the end of his career when he produced major war prints depicting scenes from the Sino-Japanese War and the Russo-Japanese War. But never again did he return to the ways of representation that he attempted in this series done between 1876 and 1881, this stark new way to see a modern city. In some ways, appreciation of this series dropped off after its production. It was only in the early 20th century that literary critics and artists began to realize its significance and importance. It was a way of looking at the new that hadn't been attempted before. It took the traditional mode of the Japanese woodblock print, combining elements of photography, of copper plate printing, and a sheer, ambiguous, slightly melancholy vision of change happening in a beloved city.